Right now, more than 90,000 Americans are waiting for a kidney transplant. But a groundbreaking surgery in New York has moved us perhaps one step closer to solving that enormous crisis. That's because surgeons have successfully transplanted a pig's kidney into a human. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain why this particular surgery is so significant. Doc. Well, you know, Kim and Devin, this is the fifth time that doctors at NYU Langoon have performed what's called a xenotransplant. But the previous experimental transplants, well, they've only lasted a few days. This kidney has been functioning for over a month. The pig kidney appears to replace all of the important tasks that the human kidney manages. Trials like this one are only performed on patients declared brain dead, their heart and other organs functioning with the help of a ventilator. The patient in this case is 57-year-old Maurice Miller, known by his family as Mo. When he had nothing, he gave all that he could. Mo's sister, Mary, says in early July, doctors discovered a large tumor on Mo's brain. They conducted a biopsy. He never woke up from that surgery. Because of the cancer, they couldn't donate his organs, but Mary always knew her brother would want to give. It is only fitting that his final act, he will be helping so many in the need through this innovative medical advancement. The surgery was more than a month ago, making this the longest period a pig kidney has functioned in a human. Doctors hope it's a step toward conducting trials in living people and creating a sustainable supply of organs for transplant. Hopefully this uh, also gives some assurance to the FDA regarding the safety of initiating phase one clinical trials. Doctors have another month to study Moe's reaction to the transplant, making sure his body doesn't reject it. Mary hopes her brother's story will encourage other families to aid in medical research. The only way they can do it is if at, at, at the most critical time and the most sorrowful time in somebody's life, somebody is able to make this decision and say, yes, my loved one, can be a part of this. Now, the pig's thymus, that's a small gland that actually helps the immune system fight disease, was also transplanted to help protect the kidneys from being rejected by the human immune system. Yeah. Now, pigs used are genetically, or the pigs used in this case, I should say, are actually genetically also bred to match humans much more I closely. I see, that keeps it from rejecting it or why it's lasting exactly. this long. Exactly, reduce the rejection. This is really fascinating. So, I mean, I know it's very experimental, but could it one day become more commonplace, do you think? Well, you know, that's kind of the hope. You know, I mean, I think ultimately much more work is going to be needed, though, to determine whether pig kidney transplants could be a bridge to a human kidney transplant or maybe even a permanent solution one day for people with end-stage kidney disease. But right now, each of us can actually help solve this problem by joining the Michigan Organ Donor Registry yep. and the Gift yep. of Life at yep. really Michigan. Does. So important. Yeah. Yep. All right, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Mm -hmm.